Where are you headed? To Boston. For the train to catch. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> So I just got to Northeastern University. We're at the, uh, where are we? Gallery 360. So the works are up, but they're actually the wrong way round. So uh, it's meant to be from light to dark, but they have it from dark to light. So let's see. So we're going to have to switch these around, but they'll be ready for tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we'll have the opening, I'm going to do an artist talk and it's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, so it's Wednesday. I didn't sleep that well last night, but you know, it's the first time in a new hotel room. It sometimes happens. Lucky my train was delayed yesterday, so I just made it here on time. We went by, we saw the show. Everything got fixed now, so, you know, the, it starts bright and it ends dark, so that's super awesome. And I got to meet some students yesterday and that was really nice. And it kind of blows my mind a little bit when people come up to me and say, I love your work and I've been following you for a long time. Because in some way I still don't understand that I'm actually an artist and this is actually my life and my career because I never imagined this would be the case. And when I was at art school, I was working two part-time jobs. I used to work at Nike Town in Otford Circus and Jacobs at a camera shop kind of not too far away too. And, and I, you know, I just imagined that I'd finish art school and I'd end up continuing to work those jobs and maybe continuing to eventually live up to this goal of being an artist but I'm actually here I'm, I'm, I'm drawing and I'm creating and I'm making and, and, and that blows my mind and it blows my mind that that you guys care and that you follow along and and that you appreciate what I'm doing and that's one of those things that fuels me to share my story and to keep making work and so I'm so happy to be here What are you doing, Bruce? Hello! <laughs> I'm a sign holder. So that's good. So we're in the Blackman Auditorium in Northeastern University and we're doing a sound check. That's digital. So here's one of these kind of digital drawings and you can imagine if there's like a DJ playing and I, you know, the crowd's going woo! And I would write, woo, and if I zoom that in and out. <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah, thank you. me that's kind of scary you know but I can see this as a as a new face as a new kind of way so instead of being scared by the canvas I can flip a switch and see it as a form for freedom and possibilities and ideas <laughs> it works because there's good intention behind what I'm doing so when you go out there when you're creating when you're making that's important. Think about having good intention behind what you're doing and everything else falls into place. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Did you guys have fun tonight? Yeah! yeah. yeah. You all had fun? Yeah! yeah.
What was your favorite part? The lecture. The lecture? Yeah. Nice. What did you like about it? I liked hearing about your work with the kids. Cool. And comparing us to like grown up kids. Yes. That made me feel really good. Very <laughs> inspirational. Yeah, you have um, a take home? I like the part where you told us the fake things that you do to make it look like you're doing stuff <laughs> on stage. Looking <laughs> professional. Yeah. Cool. Well, that was an awesome night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for coming. There's one more piece of blank paper here, so I should probably draw that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was a really good night. So I'm just back at my hotel. Well, almost. Gonna get some good sleep tonight. Tomorrow I'm off to maybe Hartford or somewhere to check out the New Britain Museum of American Art. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna check out some space there to do a show maybe this year or next year. All right, have fun, it's been fun. <laughs>